Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find a value of xy given that x squared plus xy plus y squared plus root 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, one way of solving this problem is to start by rearranging this equation as a quadratic equation in either x or y. Now, let us rearrange this equation as a quadratic equation in y. We have y squared plus, here we have a term in y and another term in y. So that's going to be x plus root 3y plus, we have x squared and we have 1. So this is x squared plus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will study the behavior of this quadratic equation. And of course, to do that, we will use its discriminant. That is b squared minus 4ac. Of course, you know that a is the coefficient of y squared, which in this case is 1. b is the coefficient of y, which is equal to x plus root 3. And c is the constant term, which in this case is x squared plus 1. Now, remember that for a quadratic equation to have real roots, then this number must be equal to zero or positive. Because if this discriminant is negative, then the quadratic equation is going to have complex roots. So let us find the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So we have b squared, that is x plus root 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times x squared plus 1. From here, we have x squared plus 2 times x times root 3. That is 2 root 3x plus root 3 squared, which is equal to 3. Then we have minus 4 times x squared. That is minus 4x squared. And you have minus 4 times 1, which is equal to minus 4. Now, x squared minus 4x squared is going to give us minus 3x squared. We have plus 2 root 3x. 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1. And of course, we can write this as minus 3x squared. Because of this minus, this sign is going to change to minus 2 root 3x. And this sign is going to change to plus 1. Now we can factorize this quadratic expression. Since the coefficient of x squared is not 1, let us use the table method. What are the factors of 3x squared? We have root 3x and root 3x. What are the factors of 1? We have 1 and 1. But since the middle term is negative, let this be minus 1 and minus 1. Of course, you know that minus 1 times minus 1 is still going to give us plus 1. Now, when we multiply this and this, we have minus root 3x. And in the same way, when we multiply this and that, we have minus root 3x. Of course, you know that minus root 3x minus root 3x is going to give us minus 2 root 3x. So we have that this can be written as minus root 3x minus 1 multiplied by root 3x minus 1. And of course, you know that this is simply equal to minus root 3x minus 1 squared. Now, let us look at this. Remember that when you square any number, it must be positive. So this is minus a positive number, which of course is equal to negative. So we have that the discriminant of this quadratic equation is negative. 
That means that the only way for this quadratic equation to have real roots is if this is equal to zero. So we have that for this quadratic equation to have real roots, then root 3x minus 1 must be equal to zero. And of course, from here, when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that root 3x must be equal to 1. And when we divide both sides of this equation by root 3, we have that x must be equal to 1 over root 3 for this quadratic equation to have real roots. And now to solve this equation, using the quadratic formula, we have that y is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2 times a, but a is equal to 1. But of course, you know that the discriminant is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1 over root 3. So this term has been taken care of. So we have that y is equal to minus b over 2. Of course, what is b? This is b. So we have that y is equal to half times x, which is 1 over root 3 plus root 3. From here, we have that y is equal to half times root 3 times root 3 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is 4 over root 3. 2 into itself is 1 and into 4 is 2. So we have that y, sorry, I forgot this minus. We have that y is equal to, there should be a minus here and of course there should be a minus here. So we have that y is equal to minus 2 over root 3. And of course, now we can find the value of x, y simply by multiplying these two. So we have that x, y is equal to 1 times minus 2, that is minus 2, divided by root 3 times root 3, which is equal to 3. So we have that the value of x, y, which we are looking for, is equal to minus 2 over 3. Now, another way of solving this problem is to start by multiplying through this equation by 4. When we do that, we have 4x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared plus 4 root 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now let us break this down into y squared plus 3y squared. When we do that, we have 4x squared plus 4 xy plus y squared plus 3y squared plus 4 root 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, let us group this equation into two units. Let us factorize this. Let us use the table method. What are the factors of 4x squared? We have 2x and 2x. What are the factors of y squared? We have y and y. When you multiply this and this, you have 2xy. In the same way, when you multiply this and this, you have 2xy. And of course, you know that 2xy plus 2xy is going to give us 4xy. Let us also factorize this using the table method. What are the factors of 3y squared? We have root 3y and root 3y. What are the factors of 4? We have 2 and 2. When you multiply this and this, you have 2 root 3y. In the same way, when you multiply this and this, you have 2 root 3y. 
So that means that we can write this as 2x plus y squared. So here we have 2x plus y squared. We have plus. And we can write this as root 3y plus 2 squared. So this is root 3y plus 2 squared. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, once more, look at this. You know that when you square a number, that number must be positive. So that means that this is positive and this is also positive. But this equation is telling us that the sum of two positive numbers is equal to zero. Now, you know that this is impossible, except this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero. So from this equation, we have that 2x plus y is equal to zero. Root 3y plus 2 is equal to zero. Now, from here, when we subtract 2 from both sides of this equation, we have that root 3y is equal to minus 2. And of course, when we divide both sides of this equation by root 3, we have that y is equal to minus 2 over root 3. y is equal to minus 2 over root 3. Exactly the same value that we calculated using the first method. Now we have found the value of y. We can come over to this equation. From here, we have that 2x is equal to minus y. And we have that x is equal to half times minus y. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to half times minus minus 2 over root 3. Minus minus is plus. So we have that x is equal to this is going to cancel that 1 over root 3, which is exactly what we calculated using the first method. And of course, to find the value of x, y, once more, we simply multiply x by y. And when we do that, we have minus 2 over 3. So now you have seen two different methods of solving this algebraic equation. Tell me in the comment section which method you prefer. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.